What up guys, Eric here from Racing Ramp Fam and today we're going to be talking about converting from this big ugly hydraulic fan to these big beautiful dual electric fans. A couple things that I built this electric fan kit myself is two 15 inch like 3000 CFM fans. It does pull a lot of battery power, but I was having a problem with my hydraulic fan. It was shaking like crazy. It literally, you could watch the hood shake because it would shake so bad when that thing went on high. Um, it didn't do the best job at the drag strip for cooling it down. I had a 170 degree thermostat in this truck and the truck would still hit 200 degrees going full blown down the drag strip. Now with these dual electric fans, I only tried it once, but it was nice and cool all the way down the drag strip, and I'm never going back to this hydraulic fan again. So I definitely recommend deleting the hydraulic fan, because I do think the dual electric fan is way more efficient and way better than that crappy hydraulic fan. Plus that thing's pretty ugly. So there's a couple ways you guys can go about going to an electric fan setup just like this. One way is you could build it yourself like I did. I built this out of eighth inch aluminum plate that I TIG welded all together. It was actually my first TIG welding project that I ever did. I bought two 15 inch 3000 CFM fans from Summit Racing. I bought this controller. The one thing I haven't done yet is once you delete that hydraulic fan, you will have a check engine light for, it's like P1499 or something like that for hydraulic fan. The PCM doesn't see the hydraulic fan because that's actually what turns it on and off with a solenoid. So what you can do is you can pop this little guy right here. I'll show you where that is on the fan. Normally this sits right on here in there and it sits down right there on the fan. You can pop this guy off, keep the connector. I cut it off because I didn't know that. And I was just like, oh, get it out of the way. Tie the wire up, make it look nice. I didn't know that, so I actually had to get a new connector for it because I lost the old one because I kind of cut it up, threw it away. So here it is. We're going to wire it in to get rid of that check engine light. So where that wiring is, is right here on my truck. All of this is a solenoid, so it's still going to actuate it. It's not a big deal. I'll just bolt it down to a bolt and it'll be magnetically charged to that. Whenever it turns on, it's not going to go anywhere. Not a big deal. Just keep that check engine light on because this is a stock PCM and it looks for it and that check engine light drives me bonkers. All right, so we got this baby all soldered back in, as you guys can see. If you're wondering what the connector pin out is, is pin one is on this side, two and three, so it goes light blue slash tan to brown slash white to black, so pin one's blue slash brown, pin two is brown slash white, and pin three is just black, so if you guys are wondering what that order is, that's what it is. So now we are going to get that all hooked back in. But talking more about the fans, how I wired it. So I don't remember what controller I used. I'm pretty sure it's just a dual fan controller, which you guys can see the two relays right here. This guy's pretty easy to wire up. All it is, is you can see this yellow wire right here, is your ignition positive. I'll show you guys what fuse cap I tapped that guy into. Uh, right there, it looks like fuse number 28 I tapped into, which is a 10 amp. Uh, let's see what fuse 28 is. 28 is a cluster slash overhead electrical. That was a good ignition positive for me. And if that pops, it's not a big deal. It's just my overhead console. Uh, my two fans, I have two positive fused wires going straight to the relay box. Then for the fans, I got grounds going straight to the engine grounds. Uh, this green wire goes to your AC compressor, the actual uh, magnetic how is it called? clutch for your AC compressor. And then you got a ground for the actual box itself, which I ran right there too because I don't have a battery up here. But yeah guys, it's pretty simple. It's not too bad. It's just wiring in two fans and I think it's a lot better than that crappy power steering fan sitting over there. I had problems with mine. They wanted a lot of money for the hydraulic fan and I just had the skill set and knowledge on how to wire and make my own fan shroud right here. Um, I don't know if I can get any better looks at it. 
because it is pretty tucked in here but the one is right there and the other one is down there tucked away they're offset I don't know if you guys can see it yep right there and then how this controller set up is I have it set to it turns on at 170 the first fan and then if it hits 180 it turns the other fan on and then I think I'm gonna put a switch in so I can actually have the drag strip just cool the truck down by turning them both on and maybe bring the truck down to like a nice 160 or something like that 150 before we hit the strip but yeah guys we're gonna see if this fix the check engine light here before we go any farther so we're gonna hop in the truck right now But one cool trick with this truck that you guys, I don't know, a lot of you guys know, if you cycle the key three times, it will tell you your check engine light code. So we're going to try that right now. If you guys take a look right there, it focuses. So we got one, two, and three. And it says P1499, which is the hydraulic fan circuit open. And that is all the codes I have in the truck. Because the truck is running absolutely mint. So yeah, but you can't clear the codes with the truck. That would be really cool. So we're just going to plug this guy in quick, clear these codes, start it up, see if they're fixed. I know with the SCT tuners, you guys can delete codes. Otherwise, you guys can go to your local O'Reilly's, AutoZone, or Napa, and I'm pretty sure they'll still clear codes for you. Otherwise, you can bring it into your local dealership and ask them nicely, hey, can you guys please clear these codes on my truck? This is a pretty expensive one. That tells you way too much stuff. So we're going to go to, should we read the codes? I guess we'll read the codes. See if there's anything else. Wow, I just passed it. I'm like looking for Dodge. I'm like, Chrysler is Dodge. So we got P1499 hydraulic cooling fan solenoid circuit. So we just wired in that guy. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to erase codes. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to cycle the key. And then we're going to start this bad boy up. Let's see if our check engine lights go. And would you look at that, the Christmas light's gone. And you guys were giving me shit about all my Christmas lights, so we are going to show you guys that there is absolutely no lights on in this truck now after I fixed it. Boom! SRT10 stock PCM. Like, a lot of horsepower. Yeah. Alright guys, I think we're going to call that a video. If you guys have any more questions about going to electric cooling fans hit me up on my instagram i'll post the link right here it's racing ram fam just like the channel just on instagram but as always guys keep it boosted and we'll see you guys in the next video